Hey everybody out there, Chris here, and welcome back to another weekly comic book haul. And we've got tons and tons of stuff here. This is going to be a superior haul week. You'll get that in a minute, why I say that. But anyway, got a lot of books, got a lot of stuff, got a lot of announcements. Let's start with Comic Frontline. We are gearing up, everybody, for a humongous opening um, celebration, a huge launch week. We've got tons of things. I've got actually an announcement that I'm going to make here right after this video on Comic Frontline. I'm, as I said, I'm moving a lot of my stuff over to the group channel. The only things that are going to remain on this channel are the whole videos, the comic review, the indie review, and Comics Point 3 because it would make no sense to bring Comics Point 3 over because we have the live show. So we're keeping Comics Point 3 here. And I promised you guys I would give you Ultimate Collection Volume 4 and Ultimate Collection Volume 5 for reviews. Uh, for Comic Book Corner, but Comic Book Corner will be moving over to Comic Frontline um, as soon as Comic Frontline starts as well. But you guys got those two books here, so don't worry about that. Uh, but I will be doing a figure review for a figure that you guys are going to see here. I mentioned it on um, Dark Avenger Inc.'s live show this past Wednesday, uh, Tuesday. Uh, we'll get into that, but first let's get into the comic books. Uh, Huge weeks worth. That's basically the biggest amount of news here. Little man sleeping in the background. Mommy's making sure little man's okay. So if you hear any um, little noise here and there, you know, I got a family now, so we're all tight knit. Now, I'm only picking up one book, and there's a reason. This is the all new X Men issue number 22 point now, or issue number one of the trial, uh, part one of the trial of Jean Grey. And this is the regular cover. However, this is filed under cover D. Same price as the original, all, the regular All New X Men cover, except it comes in a poly bag because in the poly bag this is also included. And what this is is a gigantic. I know, Mike, you're not going to see this probably. It's going to be a. It's a, gig, it's a gigantic poster of all the. 50th, it's upside down. It's an upside down gigantic poster showing. I'm so hard with this. The 50th anniversary of X-Men covers. And it turns out they were all one gigantic poster. So you get a free poster. It's not extra money. Can you see all the way to the bottom? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's no extra money. They don't charge you anymore. It's the exact same price as the comic book. It's your option. You can get the one with or without the, co the uh, poster. Midtown Comics did not charge me extra for this poster with the book. Same price, and the price of the book is still, oh, the price of the book is three ninety nine. So, up to you guys. But I didn't get all the fiftieth anniversary covers, so now I've got a poster of them instead, and we'll see where that's gonna go. Either it'll go up here, it'll go in my apartment downstairs, somewhere. So that's all new X Men. Now let's grab the rest of the books. Okay, Michael's Pandora issue number seven. Four Kitty Corner on. Comic Frontline, Mike is going to be starting Scribblenauts Unmasked, issue number one. Red Hood and the Outlaws, issue 27. I put Mike's books on top because I opened his box last. Avengers World, issue number two, since you enjoyed it. All New X Factor, issue number two. I couldn't, I'm sorry, I'm, I've got so many books I'm looking forward to, so I gave Mike All New Invaders, issue number one, to check out. The Walking Dead, issue 120, which Mike and I read, but Mike's going to read it first. Now we're in my books. We have Harley Quinn issue number two. Excited about that. Green Lantern New Guardians issue 27. Not excited about that. This book I want Michael to read, but this is my book. It's Empire of the Dead, written by George Romero. Issue number one, or act number one. Cataclysm Ultimate Comics X-Men, the final issue. Goodbye. Black Widow issue number two. Batman issue number 27. And for those of you that saw the April solicits, um, that Batman issue is going to be the exact same cover that we got for part one of Blackout and part one of Zero Year. So don't be surprised when you, um, see that cover in April. It's basically the same thing except in green and gold. Batman Beyond Universe, issue number six, basically four, Batman Beyond. The final issue of Batman and Two-Face, issue number 27. Animal Man, issue number 27. Wolverine and the X-Men, issue number 40. Andy Kun, the one artist that I did not really enjoy on um, T-1000, 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Returns for Youth Trum Empire, the miniseries, issue number one, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the new mini. Leading into Goblin Nation, this time I had no choice, guys, so I did get this. Superior uh, Spider-Man Team-Ups, issue number nine, with The Punisher and Daredevil. Supergirl 27, Final Fatal Lobo. Origin number two, let's see if Gillen destroys this. Justice League, issue number 27. And finally, Hawkeye, issue number 16. We're going back to Kate now in this issue. So those are the books. Now let's get into the stuff. First of all, we went to Toys R Us today. Um, I'm planning on doing a nice amount of toy reviews on um, Comic Frontline once it starts. I'm still going to be doing the comics, but I've always wanted to reach into toys. Uh, I've been saving up a lot of money. I've been saving up a lot of uh, ideas uh, for uh, as such an occasion. Now, we were going to do it. I was going to do it this year for Dark Avengering, but as you guys know, we were moving to Comic Frontline, so I decided to save the segment for Comic Frontline. So we were at Toys R Us today. They had a humongous sale on these. So I got three here and I actually had to order one online because it wasn't in the store. But I got some Mini Mates. Mini Mates are these little figures. Kind of like Legos except kind of three times the size. Anyway, I got Halo Series 4. I got Cortana and the Master Chief. I got the Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I got Chris Redfield and Spider-Man, obviously for Spider-Man. And I'm going to be doing an evolution of Spider-Man. So I also got the uh, Superior Spider-Man Ultimate Electro Marvel Mini Mates 2-pack. I went too high there, I think. So now I'm in the right place. Uh, the other one that I got, I'll show you guys in a later haul. Could you hand me those? All of those. Now I have these. These are G.I. Joe Micro Force Blind Packs. There are two figures in each. Don't know. Can't see. You can't see what they are. I got two, three, four packs of the G.I. Joe blind bags. This is another series I'm going to be doing on Comic Frontline. However, this series is not going to be um, as often as a lot of other people. I know a lot of people now started doing blind bag um, openings on their channels or I've met a lot of people actually that only do blind bag openings. And there's a ton of things out there. There's My Little Pony, which we're not doing. There's the trash something, the little trash can kind of animal. We're not doing those. We might, who knows? Depends on what Mike likes. Uh, there's these guys, there's Lego people. Um, right now, I'm a huge G.I. Joe fan, and my store just got a brand new box set of these near my work. So I saw these dirt cheap because they had a huge sale on them so I just grabbed four and figured I'll give a blind bag opening a try hopefully I get one or two figures that I was I'm hoping to get in that series and then the biggest thing and this is going to be on comic frontline um, hopefully as of tomorrow morning nobody has reviewed this figure yet this figure is an exclusive to the Disney store um, online Disney store or you can go to your Disney store if you have one in your mall or wherever, and maybe you'll find it. This is the Special Collector's Edition Superior Spider-Man Marvel. Well, it's a Marvel Select Superior Spider-Man. As you can see, it's a Disney Store exclusive. And it is of the Superior Spider-Man. I saw this uh, advertised um, on Big Bad Toy Store as their exclusive. Or they claimed it was an exclusive. They didn't say it was theirs. They just said it was an exclusive. And it was a lot of money. I said there is no way that's the real price because I know Marvel Select figures only go for about $25. Lo and behold, I go on the Disney Store, which is right here, and it's available now in the Disney Store on Big Bad Toy Store. It's pre-order for February. You can get this at your house as early as next week if you order it on the Disney Store. Also an exclusive on the Disney Shop that I did not get uh, was the Winter Soldier, obviously, because this, the Winter Soldier movie is coming out. And I'm not really that much of a fan of that figure, but when I saw Superior, and I'm going to explain why in my review, why this figure really won me over, um, I had to get it. So this is going to be an exclusive opening toy review slash promo slash trailer for Comic Frontline. And like I said, this should be up no later than tomorrow morning. And guys, you know my figure reviews because I did a few on here. Uh, I like to throw a little comedy at the beginning. 
There will be no advertisements, obviously, in the middle, but there'll be a little intro, maybe. Um, the series is not going to be just called Toy Reviews. Uh, thanks to Jay, who's a brilliant man, and throws the, he threw this title out, and I said, I like it. The Toy Review series, like figures like this, and little toys like the Mini Mates, we're going to call that series on Comic Frontline Toy Chest. Now, if only I could find the Minecraft chest that they actually made. There's a replica of the Minecraft chest. It's like kind of like a fold-out open kind of chest. That would be cool because then I'll just pull the toy out of the chest each and every time. That would be kind of have like that Legend of Zelda kind of thing. So anyway, I don't know. That's future thoughts down the road. But look forward to the review of the Superior Spider-Man Marvel Select figure on Comic Frontline. ASAP, I will have a link somewhere. I will put an annotation up if I can, if I can figure out how these new annotations work. And um, there will be an annotation right here on while I'm talking about Superior Spider-Man uh, for the Comic Frontline video. If you want, after you watch this video, feel free to... Actually, it's going to be easy to put a link. I'll put the link in the description instead because annotations take too long to figure out nowadays. So the link will be in the description after this haul video. Go over to Comic Frontline and check that uh, review out. I'm going to be putting a lot into this review and this figure is awesome and I have a lot I would love to say about it and I'm going to say about it. As far as the Mini Maids, look forward to toy reviews after launch week. And the blind bags, however, the blind bags I'm probably going to shoot at the same time I shoot Superior Spider-Man but I'm probably going to wait on posting that video for a little while. I don't want to post too much at once and once again we are not uh, at launch week yet and we're just posting trailers and stuff like that so if uh, I'm going to talk to everybody, if, if other people are interested in doing some blind bags here, there, and everywhere, maybe we'll make a series out of that. It's just not going to be a predominant series like it's becoming on YouTube nowadays. Uh, even Hero Clicks is becoming a predominant um, thing. Because, let's face it, people. We love mystery. We love chance. We love the lotto. I mean, look at all these figures. There's 40 plus figures for series one and it's series one so that means there's going to be another series and you get two figures in each so i got four bags so that means eight figures will i get some duplicates maybe will i there's a great possibility i might not though because there's 40 plus figures but as you get closer to that 40 uh, mark you get a lot of doubles so i'm hoping that uh, i at least get snake eyes and storm shadow in this and also the wolves. I love the wolves. So hopefully I'll get one or both of those. I, I'll explain in the bag, the um, opening video. But I really tried to figure out if I could figure out which one was which. So let's get into the comics now before I embarrass myself any further. Starting with last week's haul video, episode 10. Nick. Nick. Every, every, every video. I'm just going to start calling you Nick. I'm not going to say Nick Lens anymore. Everybody knows this Nick. Nick is my commentor. Uh, extraordinaire and I love answering his questions so let's get started with first have you ever read any of the Marvel Noir series ironically I was in a Barnes and Noble I saw Spider-Man Noir I sat down and I got through half the book uh, unfortunately I did not buy the book because at that time um, I forgot my debit card at home so I couldn't buy it but I did read through it and it was really cool uh, other than that, I didn't read any other noir book. If I was to buy any noir, it would probably 90% be only Spider-Man. Uh, the other books I'd have to test the waters on first. Uh, second, what are you looking forward to in Goblin Nation? <laughs> Peter Parker coming back, duh. Um, third, what issue of Venom is that on your wall? I believe I said that before. This is Venom, Enemy Within, Part 1. I believe this is volume three, issue number one. Just type in Enemy Within. It's a glow-in-the-dark cover. I loved it, so I grabbed it. Fourth, did you know the, that the Avengers Assemble series is ending with issue 25? Yes. I don't care. Fifth, with the Avengers Assemble ending, do you realize that the only series that is left that wasn't ended or relaunched is Hawkeye? Yes, and I find that really cool. But once again, don't forget, Hawkeye began almost simultaneously when Marvel Now started. Hawkeye started, I believe, a month or three, a month or three before uh, Marvel Now hit. So it missed Marvel Now literally by this much, and then it just jumped into Marvel Now. It actually does carry the Marvel Now logo. So I'm not worried about Hawkeye going anywhere for a while. It's doing really, really well. Um, so I wouldn't worry about Hawkeye getting canceled or renumbered, because at this point, I, I don't think there's any logic behind that. 
he's already in low numbers. We're only up to issue number 16. So I don't think they'll relaunch after 16 issues only. Spice Nug. Hey, Chris. Great haul. Thank you. Do you have a favorite cover for 2014 so far? No, I really don't jump in too quick with favorite covers. If I have a cover that really jumps out at me that I love, that I must have, um, I would definitely uh, change one of the comics you see behind me to that cover. But I will say that the Origin 2 issue number 1 for Wolverine was really interesting. and I love that clear extra cover. But as far as covers that jump out at me, this year so far things have been okay. We'll see as the year progresses. But Origin 2 is the one that jumps out. And we've only had about three weeks worth of books so far. Uh, second, I believe the Terminator Enemy of the Enemy is a new series on Dark Horse. Awesome. Look forward to reading that then. Thirdly, and finally, which comic book series that has never happened or to your knowledge it never happened would you like to see happen? That's a good mm -hmm. question. What comic series would I like to see happen? Well, we have enough of the uh, X-Men spotlights, but it'd be interesting to see some more uh, X-Men getting solo series, but mostly miniseries. I wouldn't say give like Colossus the ongoing. Uh, a couple of miniseries for um, people like that. I would also like to see What If come back. I know that that's not a new series, but it's. It, I like the What Ifs, and I don't want to wait till a major event happens before we get to see What If. Um, I am hoping Venom comes back at some point. Better than what it was, though. <laughs> Trying to think if there's any characters that don't have solo series or had solo series. Hmm. Have to get back to you on that, Spice. Next, Mike. 1,800 subs, Chris. Congrats, bro. Thank you, Mike. I didn't even notice that. You guys mean the world to me, and I don't do this for the subs. I do it for you guys watching, so I don't really... I never. I didn't know that. Thanks, Mike. Um... Do you think Infinity will come out with a Marvel line of uh, characters for the Wii U? I hope so. That's what I actually am really hoping for, and that's really what pushed me over with Disney Infinity over Skylanders. Will we ever see Skylanders, though? I'm going to stop saying never, because you never know. But for right now, um, that's why I got Disney Infinity. I'm hoping that we'll get some Marvel stuff. Uh, I would buy that system just for that. Absolutely. That's why I'm, I'm prepared. Mike also said, Mike, what's your favorite indie book at this time? Me? Yeah. Oh, uh, Robin Hood from Xenoscope. Um, uh, lots of other books. I'm reading uh, X-Files, Triple Helix, <laughs> and uh, I believe, well, Peabody and uh, Sherman. Sherman. That one's another funny okay. one. Yeah, there are a few. And then he continues with another question. Chris, Chris, out of all the people, I know you want Superman back the most. Well, I'm guessing you meant the most. He didn't say the most. However, what do you miss most about your Superman? I miss his personality. I miss that he cared about everybody. I don't like this new, uh, very, um, no inhibition, like, not no inhibitions, but he's very rash. He's go He goes in. I just miss the personality of Superman. The Superman that we got to see in, in Batman Superman, the first series, on the other end, that's the Superman I grew up with. I miss the Kents. I miss the fact that there was something going on with Lois and Superman, even if it wasn't a marriage. But I do miss that marriage, too. It meant something to the DC Universe, and it was huge. Um... Just, I don't like an edgy Superman. I don't think we need an edgy Superman. We need Superman to look up to more than we need. Oh, I can relate to Superman now. I don't. I don't like that, and I don't like his personality in the New Fifty Two. Also, what do you like most about New Superman? If there is anything, and you know, there there isn't, there really isn't. If I had to keep, like, if they said you have to keep one thing from the New Superman, I would live with the costume. That's like the only positive thing I could say, or the hairstyle. The fact that he doesn't exactly have like that combed back fully look. And I also like that he's younger again. I didn't like that they really, in when DC was ready to relaunch, they really aged Superman a lot. I like that they younged him up a bit, but the age and the costume are the only positives I could say for Superman. And then Kat said, if you like Peter Parker, then I definitely recommend the show Once Upon a Time. Hashtag ghost stories. <laughs> I'm never watching TV. People just keep pushing it in front of me. I'm just going to keep denying it. Nick, we're now in the indie review for last week. 
Great indie review comic. Uh, great indie comic review, guys. Thank you. First, what can you what can you expect from the X Files, the conspiracy crossover this year? I don't know, but I'm hoping good and big things. Second, could one of the writers of Amazing Spider-Man 700.1 through 5 issue take over for Dan Slot from Dan Slot? I think they could if they had to. Third, if you could pick any one of the members of the Illuminati that could get an ongoing series, who would it be besides Iron Man, Mr. Fantastic? That would be interesting to see Mr. Fantastic get his own miniseries. And that actually answers Spice Nugs' question a bit, because I don't believe there was a Mr. Fantastic series. Thanks, Nick. Fourth, if Marvel brought back Charles Xavier, how would they do it? Magic. Because I have no clue how they'll... Or, or they'll kind of say, like, he healed himself, or he faked his death, or something like that, because there's no other way. Or they'll do what they're doing with Nightcrawler. or they'll go to heaven and bring him back. Fifth, did you know uh, that Rob Liefeld created the first X-Force team? Yes, I did. In the comics that currently um, that is currently cable, yes, I did know Rob Liefeld created X-Force, but still make fun of him. Then Dan! Pretty soon, Mike's salute is going to go straight through the camera lens. Your salute. Oh, yeah. Love the salute as a welcome back to the show. There was one big joke that might have slipped by in the fact that the evil wizard said his Villains United scheme should last over the summer, so I was actually poking a bit of fun at the summer events uh, in comics, though I guess events are year-round these days. Great review overall, guys. Thanks. Dad. Oh, yeah, there's Argo 5, which is another one of my favorite indie comics. Love indie, uh, uh, Argo 5. I was about to say indie 5 because I saw the indie review. Yeah. Comics point four. Uh, we got lots of comments. So uh, Nick said first, where do you get that star thing that is hanging from your bookshelf? Star thing? That one? This maybe? That's a, that's a dream catcher, Nick. Uh, second, could you do a walkthrough of Batman Arkham Origins on Brooklyn Boys 13? Yes, we are going to start with Batman Arkham Asylum and work our way to... But then again, Arkham Origin is a uh, prelude to Arkham Asylum. So if we initially did want to start from point A, since Arkham or... Um, Secret or... Bleh, Arkham or... Um, Batman Arkham Origins is originally a point one before ish the first uh, game. We could start with Origins and then go to Arkham Asylum, which is lower graphics, of course, because it's the very beginning of the series, and then go to Arkham City. So we'll see. Third, what's your favorite Batman story arc or crossover from pre-New 52? I did not read Batman pre-New 52. Superman Batman was my favorite series other than that. Uh, and current New 52 is Batman. I'm enjoying Batman a lot. And then fourth, what is your favorite all-time Superman crossover? Be uh, other, I guess you mean behind the de uh, other than the death in the family. And the uh, Superman crossover I liked a lot was when the Joker took over. I can't remember when he Jokerized the entire DC universe, and I believe the epicenter of it all was on Superman. As a matter of fact, he kind of Joker found a way to steal Mitzelflick's uh, powers, and he. Um, screwed up the entire DC Universe. If you remember the name of that um, series or that event that happened in DC, that was my favorite Superman crossover event. Sleepy Reader said, Great comic book party. Nice to see Comic Uno on the mix. I agree. Ryan I 50 do you think if Nintendo made a new and improved Game Boy, do you think Nintendo would make more money again? Nope. Renza Shannon. I hope I said your name right. I apologize if I didn't. This is Streets Ahead. Uno makes anything comic related mo better. Need a Chris and Uno show. I like the ring of that, Chris and Uno, but that's up to the cat if she'd like to do a show with me. I'll, we could sit down and do a show at some point if you'd really like that. Let me know, Ren Reza. Um, Justin Paget. Awesome show. Great comic shop discussion, uh, discussion feel to it. Thank you. Spice Doug. Nice show. Uh, would be fun to have a Dark Avenger Inc. live show where you all together... Oh, in the same room. I'm hoping one day. Bit surprised Chris wasn't interested in trying out Aquaman and the others. I loved um, uh, with him being such a Dan Jurgens fan, but ah oh well. I love Dan Jurgens, Spice. I love him. I love his work. He's done amazing writing, writing work, but 
I'm sorry, Aquaman just, I can't. I mean, I try. I actually got Green Arrow initially for Dan Jurgens, and I did enjoy it for a bit, but then Mike took it over. But, um, I'm sorry, even Dan Jurgens can't get me to go back to Aquaman and the others, or the Outsiders, or whatever the hell the series is called. Comic, um, Mike Spider Slayer. Love how everyone was together. Looked like it was a lot of fun. It definitely was. Uh, somehow, some way, we will make that happen. I guess you mean everybody in the same room. Great show, guys. Thanks, Mike. And now we're in last week's comic review. The final video. I know you guys are sitting there going, come on, Chris. Another great review, guys, from Nick. First, are you getting the Superior Spider-Man Annual number two? Yes, whenever it comes out. Second, do you think... Since Disney owns Marvel, that Disney characters will get their own Earth in the Marvel multiverse? I I don't think so, at least. Third, when did Mike become a Punisher fan? Mike's been a Punisher fan since... Uh, since the Punisher movie. Pu the Punisher, yeah, but since the Punisher number one written by... Uh, oh, you mean the comic book? Yeah, who wrote it? Um, Greg Rucka? The Greg Rucka, yeah, yeah. Since the Greg Rucka run. Um, fourth, Chris... Who is your second favorite superhero? Spider-Man. Spice Dog. Great review, guys. That thing with your Deadpool comic was bad. I don't buy Deadpool, though. I know it stinks, but what can you do? Mario Badillo. Great review, guys. I really enjoyed Nova, Daredevil, Superior Spider-Man, and Superman Wonder Woman. As always, keep up the good work. Thanks, Mario. And finally, Max Cinemera. The character with Batgirl is Nightfall, not Black Canary. A lot of people didn't know who she was, but... If you read the Nightfall story arc in Batgirl, then you'll see her name in those issues. Thank you, Max. I did read that comment actually recently, and um, thanks for. Uh, I was wondering. I said I'm surprised Black Canary's not doing really anything with her powers at all. So thank you for actually explaining that. I was. It, it didn't make sense a bit, uh, but once again, I did drop Batgirl for a time, and then I jumped back onto Batgirl. So I did not read that story arc, but. Once again, those types of comments are always welcome. I love when people actually tell me, no, it's really this. So this way now I know. And now if I uh, do a review like what I'm planning on Dark Avenger Inc., I'll be able to use what you told me and not look like a complete and utter idiot when I do the solo review. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. Love the comments. Feel free to comment anything from this video all the way through till the next haul. And your comment will be heard on the next haul if you um, do so. Uh, look forward to the Superior Spider-Man review. I will be doing that as soon as this video is up. It should be going up on Comic Frontline as a matter of fact. It should be uploading already. Uh, look forward to all the other toy reviews uh, after launch day. Look forward to the blind bag opening probably middle of next week I might I'm gonna shoot it early but I'm probably not gonna upload it till middle of next week on Frontline and as you guys can see we're starting to move stuff over to Frontline uh, Mike Scribblenauts is gonna be on Frontline and yeah so anyway guys thanks for sticking around don't forget to check out comic related comic Frontline and Dark Avenger Inc com until we make the move on February 11 to comic Frontline then it'll be just the two we are all your number one social comic related news, reviews, and more. Thank you guys for sticking around. Take care. Keep reading. Keep collecting. And I will see you guys really soon in another review. Any reviews coming tomorrow. Take care, everybody.